So this little bit of news kind of flew under the radar over the last couple of days, at least under my radar. I'm sure some of you might have seen this story elsewhere, but it appears that EA might have already abandoned the Nintendo Switch after the release of FIFA 18. Uh, that might be a, a slight overreaction, but I'm not sure how else to take this. So EA Chief Financial Officer Blake Jorgensen told the Wall Street Journal the publisher plans to wait until the console has been on the market a full year before deciding whether to make more games for it. According to Jorgensen, it's too early to judge the success of FIFA 18 on Nintendo Switch, which you, I mean, you might be able to take that as a positive. And then he says, as such, EA wants to fully understand what the demand is for the platform before committing more development resources to making new games for the platform. That to me sounds like it's EA saying we're done with the Switch uh, without saying they're done with the Switch. Uh, I don't know if we should really be all that surprised. Um, I know some people got on me for my uh, report on the poor sales of Switch in the UK, but well, final sales figures are not here. If the sales figures were actually good and as expected or better, there wouldn't be this tepid attitude of, eh, we're going to wait. Basically, we want to wait a few months and see what happens with sales. See, if they, they essentially are going to say, look, Nintendo, we're going to give you the holiday season. If FIFA 18 sells a crap load during the holiday season, we will commit more games. Remember back when I said that some third parties, and I was chiefly pointing at EA because they're the ones that seem to do this the most, were dipping their toes in the water and everything was reliant upon a single game selling well. A single game that some might argue is a little gimped. Although, I think FIFA 18 is actually a fun game on Switch. I, I think it's a worthwhile experience. Is it as good as the full version of FIFA 18 on the other platforms? No, but it's good. I mean, I, I can't say they didn't at least give us a good playable version of FIFA. But... It appears the sales must not be that impressive as is. Because if they were, and they have access to the digital sales as well as physical, so even if physical uh, sales weren't impressive, they would know what digital demand is. It appears that things are not looking good for FIFA 18 on Switch. And if things are not looking good for FIFA 18 on Switch, the fact that EA is like, yeah, we're going to wait a full year, that means that they're not willing to commit any of their current development resources to Switch until at least March or April of 2017. And when that is the case, when that happens, it's almost too late to commit any of your games in 2018 for the platform because in order for those games to come over, you're going to have to start working on Frostbite now. In fact, start working on Frostbite earlier this year to make Frostbite run on Switch. And if you're not, if you haven't done that yet and you're not willing to commit even a FIFA 19 or a Madden or, or any other game to the platform until, you know, the first quarter of next year, that pretty much means that we're, if we do get games in 2018, they're again going to be subpar port jobs um, if they come at all. And they might not bring anything until 2019 even because, again, a lot of these games are already well in development. The next FIFA game is already in development. Uh, the next Madden game is already in development. These are yearly franchises. These games are already in development. It's really hard to come in, you know, five, six, seven months into development and be like, hey, by the way, we're also going to bring this to Switch and try and day and date it. Good luck. Especially when you have not fully ported over your Frostbite engine. So, yeah, EA and Switch. Uh, maybe this isn't a surprise. Um, we haven't heard anything from 2K yet. We don't know, you know what's happening on that side of the AAA stream, uh, maybe they're maybe the NBA 2K18 sales are actually really really good on Switch. I don't know. We don't have any numbers yet. The physical version didn't release till October, so we won't get a, the October physical sales until later this month. Uh, but yeah, this is obviously disappointing to say the least. Uh, I know some of you guys out there are going to be like, "Who cares? I don't care about FIFA. I don't care about EA." Uh, games, but here's the deal: like, EA has the exclusive license for Star Wars games, so if you want a Star Wars video game on Switch, it's not going to happen without EA. Um, in addition, there's EA games I do like. 
I like the Dragon Age series. You know, pretty much anything Bioware puts out, I enjoy, even if the games aren't maybe as good as they used to be. Uh, I also enjoy games like Battlefield. The You know, the Battlefield World War One game is really, really, really good, and I would have loved to see even a late port of that on Switch. Uh, there's other games, too, like Madden. I'm a huge Madden fan, and all this really is guaranteed is that I'm going to have to own an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One X or whatever the case may be pretty much forever um, because games like Madden don't even come to PC, right? So if I want to continue to play that, I'm going to have to continue to own other platforms. Uh, and that's not really a problem. I don't have an issue owning multiple platforms, but I... I want that convenience of taking it on the go. I mean, they made Madden for 3DS, for crying out loud, and they're not even doing it for Switch. Granted, that was obviously a massively watered-down version of Madden that wasn't any good, but at least they tried. Um, and I guess that's what we could say about FIFA 18 this year. Uh, I'm disappointed in this. I guess this should be expected, but EA, I think, is making a big mistake. If you look at the sales of Switch, it's just flying off shelves right now. Uh, and it's not just Nintendo games that are selling well. We, we have this month coming up with a bunch of third-party games right now. I mean, we're, we're giving away three of these third-party games this month, and I have a feeling these third-party games are going to sell very, very well heading into this holiday season. And if that's the case, EA is just going to miss the boat entirely. Uh, it's just, it's frustrating. It's really, really frustrating. On one hand, Nintendo's getting awesome third-party support from a company like Bethesda. On the other hand, EA is doing the EA thing and like, look, we didn't make, we didn't sell as many copies as we thought, basically. But you know what? We're not going to make a final verdict yet. We're going to give Nintendo another handful of months to try to sell the game. And Nintendo has been putting FIFA 18 into their commercials and everything, but that doesn't mean the game's going to sell any more than it has already. Uh, most people probably interested in FIFA 18 on Switch have already purchased FIFA 18 on Switch. So this. This, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think about these quotes down in the comments below. Uh, again, I know I'm late on the boat on this, and I do apologize for my late reaction, but this just, oh, this irks me. EA has essentially abandoned Nintendo already at a time when Switch is like the hottest thing on the market. Against all rhyme, logic, and reason, without ever giving one game with 100% full effort to the platform, they're gone just it, it just doesn't make sense to me anyways folks i am nathaniel ruffle jets from nintendo prime and i hope i'm wrong about all this i hope that um, apparently fifa 18 just sells really really well during the holidays and they fully commit next year i just don't see it happening uh i am yeah thanks for joining the this video like it if you like it dislike it if you dislike it and you know what folks i'm just gonna have to catch you in the next one Really, EA? Man. Seriously? <sighs>